Oh my god, hello, I'm here. Hi, how are you? Hi, hello. How's everybody? Is everybody else stressed today? Is it just me? Is the music loud? Am I loud? I'm here. Hello. Ah! How's everybody? Is everybody else in chaos mode? I just opened my Instagram! Guys, look at this picture! You know what you could do, guys? You could go follow this user on Instagram at Cassie Karma Disco. I don't know if you guys have heard of her, but um, oh look at her, she's baking, it's adorable. <laughs> this is actually really cute. Go follow Cassie on Instagram. Just saying, anyway, who is she? I know, right? Like who is a Cassie? I don't know. Hi everybody. <coughs> Woo! Today has been literally like, pure chaos just i just finished filming and i'm supposed to go places potentially later but maybe not later i don't know it's been i've been trying to get my christmas gifts figured out because christmas is close and i haven't gotten all my gifts yet so i spent a long time today trying to order gifts oh my glasses came in these are still my fake ones I put on my real ones. It's gonna take some getting used to. It's gonna take some getting used to because they make me feel dizzy. But I feel like, what is it? Carly. Oh, hi, Scout. Aw. You, you took a picture of me holding up Cassie's picture. That's so weird to see what my stream looks like. Wow, sorry. Anyway, I got distracted. No, we're gonna be getting right into the game. I was just waiting for it to be done uh, downloading. Whatever I start the stream with, um, I'll, I'll set it up to start, so you don't have to worry about that. But, anyway, sorry. I feel... Can you see a sneak peek of the glasses? Where are they? Where did I put the... Oh, yeah, I guess so. And then I'm gonna jump right into the game, I swear. Cause I actually like, I need to keep moving. I need to keep it moving, you know? I'm, my brain is right now. So I'm sorry if I seem all over the place. It's cause I am. It's, it's because I very much am. I was actually very happy that these glasses came with cases. I kind of expected that they wouldn't. Oh, sorry. How do I? <laughs> I'm stressed. It's okay. I don't need to be stressed. Okay, we're back. So I can show you my glasses really quick before we start. Um, uh, which one? No. I'll show you this one first. I can only put them on for a second because I have my contacts in. So it's going to feel really... Strange. So the first pair that I got, I feel like naked without them when I take them off. Like, doesn't my face look weird? Um, anyway, this is the first pair, which is basically, oh my god, my head hurts just looking through these. It's really weird. Um, and I can almost focus my eyes for it to work, but these are the first pair, which if you can't tell, I got a very similar pair to what I already have. Um, again, these are fake though. These have prescription. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed right now because I have contacts and glasses on. Need to take those off before I get dizzy. But yeah. I wanted to get some that looked just like my fake. So I have these. I'm hoping that I just have to get used to them because I did take my contacts out and try them. And God, did they make me feel dizzy. I, I hope it's just like, I need to get used to them. And these are the other ones, which I really like. I feel like people aren't gonna like these. But I don't know, they, they made me happy, so I got them. I can't even really tell what they look like on camera right now. Also my head, there we go. Um, They're kind of green. I don't know if you can tell, but they're green. And they kind of match my eyeballs a little bit. 
Oh, God. My depth perception's off when I get new glasses. Well, that's how I felt when I was trying to like walk around my house with them. I was like, whoa, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Everything looks really spherical. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to lean in so I can read the chat because I'm contacts and glasses. Perfect shade match. They're very nice. Oh, I'm glad you agree. Thank you. Thank you. Mo no, not Moldy Marie. We're, we're leaving that in the past. <sighs> but anyway, I like these. So, um, not today though, because I have contacts in and we're just gonna keep that rolling. No, not Grinchella. We're leaving Grinchella in the past. All right, back to my fake glasses. I like these with the pink tint though. Thank you, Moonchild. But anyway, sorry, why do I have 10 text messages? Oh my God, dude. Why is my, my besties group chat always going off when I'm streaming? I'm like, what's up? Or we're talking, we're, okay. It's still just, okay. We're fine, it's nothing too serious. Um, but we're gonna play a game today called Gone Home. It is, I think it's a little bit walking simulator-esque, so I think it is kind of along the lines of Edith Finch, except not, probably not as cool as that game. Um, I read like a thing that said like, there's no like stress or pressure, there's no puzzles. It says that there's no puzzles and there's nothing that's gonna like kill you, so it's like a very chill kind of vibe. Um, and it did add the mature rating to the game when I plugged it in, just so, heads up, I don't know why, but it did add that. Puzzles are fun though. Um, not when they're me. No, they are. You're right. I just, I suck at them. But let me get the game open. I got a switch. Off of these. And to these. I could have played this game on my Mac, but I decided I'd rather not do that. Uh, let me get rid of this music. So yeah, we're just gonna chill and play a chill game today. Maturity 10,000. Ooh. Okay, spooky. Spooky much? Who's that in the window? Not that anybody's in the window, but there's a light on. Jester, thank you for the follow. That's my dream house. Somehow I'm not surprised to hear you say that. All right, let me just make sure we're good here. Always gonna up that brightness a little bit cause I'm blind. Sure, that sounds fine to me. We'll find out about that later. Oh, we might wanna turn off head bob, but we'll see. We might turn off head bob, depending on how bad it is. All right, we're gonna jump in. I don't really know what this is gonna be like. I saw a very short thing. I'm not gonna tell you what I saw because you guys will probably just see it as we start the game, but I saw what it meant. Uh, like the little bit of story. Head bob is sometimes the camera will shake like as if you're a person walking. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start a new game. Walking with L. Looking around with right. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Oh, look at the little cassette. Wait, why is my phone? Hold on. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I, I was waiting for that phone call and I got good news, good vibes, good things. That could have been a bad phone call or a good one and it was a good one, so. Yay, anyway, sorry, let's do this. 
It was not my landlord. <laughs> All right, I'm so sorry that I panicked and closed the game. I'm so sorry. What is the news? None of your business. I'm kidding. Hi, Mom. I'm not, but... Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so... Love you. See you soon. Bye. I liked the voice acting already. Ooh, spooky. Amanda's here? Somebody say Amanda. Hi, Amanda! I know something you don't know? What the hell does that mean, Carly? I'm busy right now. Wait, what was the year? I got, I got distracted by the chat. It is so loud. I'm sorry. I gotta turn it down a little bit. It's very loud. 1955? I think it was 1955. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, Head Bob's fine. This is a nice porch. Actually, this is a really nice- wait, what? This is like an enclosed front porch? Is it bright enough for you guys? I hope it is, because it's kind of dark for me. What does this letter say? Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is, impos it is impossible. Please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad, crossed out, anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. The door is locked. Do we have a... Check the plant. How do we get in? Am I stupid? Do I have a key? Is this my bag? Oh my god, it is my bag! It is my bag! It's Kaylin's bag, guys! Actually, that's a cool spelling, too. Alright, where is this key hiding? In here? Did that say Christmas duck? Okay. So I probably use this to open the door. That's usually what happens. Oh. Well. Oh, there's key. <laughs> I don't know why the, <laughs> the duck got stuck. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Can we... Do we live here in the freaking Haunting of Hill House mansion? Dude, this staircase is the Haunting of Hill House mansion staircase. It just is. Should I get my stuff? Like, do we want to bring my stuff in? Ah, I got stuck on the duck. Alright, no, we don't. We'll leave it out in the rain, that's fine. Um... Turn the faucet on, okay. Should I... Can I just move stuff all over the place for no reason? Yeah. I don't really know what's going on. I left the duck in the rain, I'm so sorry. What is this? Press... Okay. A band-aid! Do I need one? Did I cut myself on the duck? I mean, that duck was probably pretty dangerous. Do I need a pee? No. That's fine. Ooh, I would like to up the sensitivity if possible. I don't think that was an option. Ah, oh, yes, a lamp. Can I read any of this? I don't think so. That poor duck. What's in here? Ooh, a note. Directions to work from new house. Huh. Should I go there? One hour and 10 minutes total. Does anybody here have a really long, like, commute? That's something I've always been basically afraid of. So, a long commute. What's a commute? Are you- Stop. Alex, you're literally joking right now. All the way from my bed to my couch. Well, that's me. My commute is about 15 steps. 
Wait, what does that say? Front hall. Oh. What's this? Ooh, oh, I love a light. What does that say? Can I zoom? Whoop. Oh, I don't like that I can crouch. Oh my god, there's a lot happening. Okay. How did I crouch? I'm stuck here now. Okay. Interesting. I don't really know what's going on in this game yet. Ooh, what's that? Read the call. Uh, have a have a dog gone? Cool 17th birthday. If somebody doesn't send me this card for my birthday this year, I'm gonna be really pissed about it. I'll just put that out there right now. I want this, I want this birthday card. Happy birthday, Sam, Uncle Harvey. Is Sam my brother? I think Sam is my brother. There's nothing else. Oh my God, stop crouching. Huh. What is this file? The invoice. Wellspring movers. Oh. Overweight boxes to the library. That checks out. Books are very heavy when moving. Don't put all your books in the same box when you move. Sam is the top. <laughs> all right. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. Oh my God, is this life is strange? We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. Oh, is Sam? It doesn't Her feel sister? real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything. And if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where. Gallivanting? I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Wow. Sounds like life is strange vibes again. I assume... Oh, that's how you zoom. I knew there had to be a zoom somewhere. Oh, whoa. My passport. Caitlin Greenbrier. Oh, cool. Um, the map. And the journals. Okay, so the journals are like audio things. August 20th, 1994. I thought it said like 55. Oh boy. Dear Jan. Excuse me, my god. All right, anyway. 1995, okay. It's, okay, I'm gonna read a letter now. Stop making noises behind me. Object movement, for real. It's so good to hear from you again. All this new house, this is so hard to read. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year? Ah. When we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes, I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you're ever if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi, Carol. Who are Jan and Carol? Is that like our mother and her roommate? Also, what's this? Oh, please be a, oh, I got, I was really hoping it was gonna be a magical bookshelf. Oh, it's just a Bible. Well, that was less exciting then. How do I put it? Oh my God. I, oh, well, you know what? That's okay. My bad. What is this trophy for? Regional, oh, track and field. 100 meter relay. Jamie, Carla, Shauna, and Caitlin. Interesting. Interesting. What is, is this also for track and field? Yeah. What is this? 
hecho en Mexico. I assume that means made in Mexico? Wait, what's wrong with Carol and Jim? That didn't scare me. I wasn't scared of that. That would be ridiculous. Oh, I need a key. Can I go in the vent? That'd be kind of fun. Saucy! Alright. Does that mean I need a key? Probably. Uh, nothing else in here. I don't think I can look at any of this. Interesting. Did I look at this stuff yet? No, I don't think I did. Hello. Sam? Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Oh! Jan and Terry. Okay, so we've got Jan and Terry. And then Sam and Katie. I think I'm the one on the left in the green shirt. And I think this is my older sister, Sam. And then my parents. Jan and Terry. Scary Terry. Oh my god, with the thunder. With the thunder, you know? Can I call somebody? No? It's a point. Cassie! Sam. Sam! Hello? Sam! Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, that's creepy. Really? I need to talk to you. Is that me? Please be there. Is that me calling? Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th. That's me. But it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. That's don't weird. Don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Yeah, that, that's my message okay, from so the beginning. Love you. See you soon. Bye. You're lost already? I don't think there's anything to be, like, lost about yet. Sam. Okay, so that's my sister. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Mom. Mom, don't talk to Daniel. Oh. Don't talk to Daniel, Mom. That's so embarrassing. He's so weird. I don't want to talk to him. Okay. Eerie hallway. Can we... Thank you. Okay, that really didn't help much. Why is everything flickering? Hey, it's one of the postcards? Is that what she said that I sent? Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done so many Parisian things, including... Eating la petite day, you know what? I'm gonna stop. And wearing on a, a wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you're my favorite sister. Love you all. One Arbor Hill because they moved and that's weird. I think the idea of this is that like I've gotten home and like my family is nowhere to be seen. An obituary for Oscar Doc Mason. Who is this? Do y'all hear voices? No, there were voices. I'm not crazy this time. Actually, I wasn't crazy last time either. Oh, they're coming from my house. Ha 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 ha. Funny. Welcome, new student. We hope you're excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School. Huh. Who is this for, Sam? Oh, I used to get so excited getting, the, like, the list of things I needed to get for school back in, like, middle school. It'd be, like, you know, six folders. And I'd be like, oh, my God, I get to pick out six folders. It was so exciting. Oh, my God. 
You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. Hmm. What's up with this house? There, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Hmm. <sighs> Great. Wait, the Psycho House? Did something happen at this house that I should know about? And what are those voices? Alright, anyway, let me look at this obituary real quick. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. Wait, is this his house? He was seldom seen outside his home. Sur survivors include his nephew, Terrence. Oh no, this is my father's, my father's uncle. My father's uncle? His survivors include his nephew. I hate that thunder. Interesting. Okay, I don't know if that's important. What else is in here? Is that a deck of cards? And who's this a picture of? Can I look at that? Does she have pink hair? And also, what is she wearing? Like, what is that? Looks like some kind of military-esque thing. Oh, maybe my dad did inherit the house. Oh my god, I hate how dark it is everywhere. Light switch, please. This is kind of cool, actually. I'm very invested. Alright, can I touch any of these books? No, I don't think so. But up there. <laughs> that makes me think of observation duty too. What's this form? Insurance masters. Electrical inspection. One Arbor Hill. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies which need correcting? Unclear. If yes, describe in detail. Wiring house is technically up to safe safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last hundred years. Systems frequently unpredictable. Lights blink on and off for no clear reason. Interesting. System um, is frequently unpredictable. Blah, 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 blah. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and structures of, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. Black Cat Electrical Company. All right. So, the lights are gonna be going all over the place. Love that for us. I don't know if I wanna go in there, it looks creepy. Stop doing that! It's bullshit! Ooh. Oh guys, it's time to find a combination. Find the combination. Oh, is it up here? Um. What if JFK wasn't JFK? You can do better. 1963. This looks like a conspiracy board. Oh wait, Grassy Knoll. Yo, is this a conspiracy board? Let me try 1963. Uh, one, nine, six, three? Is that a no? Okay, I tried. I was wrong. Grab the three ring binder. Okay. Fascinating, truly. No. Okay, nothing in here. From the desk of Terrence Greenbrier. Sorry, nobody asked me to do that. 
Grab the pen. Can I write something? We, I don't think I can write anything. What about this? Examine the paper. Um, MSRP. Remote with backlight, double-sided play, what? Combination laser disc, disc player? They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LDCD player. It seems really irrelevant, but sure. Oh, wait, what's this? It's probably important. The killing of JFK. Oh my god. How is the code not 1963? I like that the chair moves. Um, I know this is a Caitlyn that we're dealing with, which is kind of bizarre. All right, let's look in here, I guess. Light switch? Why is the chair still spinning? How about you don't, buddy? Ooh. Eerie vibes, bro. Fresh. Fresh magazine. I was a teenage drag queen. Readers tell us about their worst moments. 90210. Does anybody still care? Ooh, wait, can I... Notes? What is this? The accidental, the occasional, a year on the mountain, the accidental profit? What is that? Huh, I don't know. Grab, why would I grab the tissue box? I don't know. Oh, probably should turn on lamps when I find them. <laughs> I care. Somehow I feel like that's not surprising to hear from you, Amanda. Gosh, dad? Oh, I thought- Why did I think that said gosh, dad? I thought it said gosh, dad. It literally says grab lid. Is she okay? Oh my god, the JFK obsession. The JFK obsess- Oh wait, he wrote this. Oh my god, The Accidental Price. So those were all titles for his book. What was the date, oops, of the the JFK assassination? Maybe that's the code, like month, day, year or something? Because I thought it would be 1963, but it's not. Stranger Under My Roof. Understanding Teens? Dad! I'm not a stereotypical teen, my god. Uh, dear Terrence, 112263, oh that wouldn't work. That's true, that's a great um, show. 112263, love that show. It's also a book, obviously, I didn't read the book though. Um, dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting for the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut it back. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The writer of Home Theater Aficionado wants to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. It'd be just I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say so. On his say so, you should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everyone will be happy. Oh wait, code. Sorry, <laughs> zero four five one. Not me missing the code. Hi T Swiss, zero four five one. So, I don't know, sounds like dad's kind of going through it. Also, his obsession with the JFK thing is kind of strange. Zero, four, five, one? Amazing. What is this? Dear Mr. Mason, Mr. Mason was the guy who died. 
right? Please find and enclose your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Huh. I don't know what that is. Will and testament. I, uh, okay, here we go. Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind, blah, 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 blah. I declare I'm a lifelong resident of Boone County, unmarried, and have no children. So that would explain. Yeah, that would make sense. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name. I hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possess, including da, 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 to Terrence L. Greenbrier. So he gave everything to my dad. So this is his house. There's gonna be some weird stuff in here. Will it, whoa. Then the handwritten version. Okay. Huh. Can I look at this trash? I don't know why I would. Yep. John Russell opened his eyes and saw him, and saw them, the stars, twinkling. Is that a, a poorly written page? A crumpled up piece of paper lying there? My God. All right. I feel like I got everything here. Oh my God, the creaking of the floorboards. Found the voices. Severe weather warning. I mean, true. VHS is, what's this? Making friends. Sam thought this might help. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service. Dad! Uh, rain that's so not okay, buddy. Uh, don't. Oh my god, don't give your kid a book on how to make friends. You know that feeling where the first <sighs> moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. Star girl? But sometimes I see her in this Chloe like, party uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook. <gasps> looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7 Eleven every day after school. This person? You think it's this person? The military? Sounds like a crushy crush. Yo, this is giving Life is Strange vibes. So much. Oh, I can turn this off yet. Oh, well, that was a nice light for me, actually. Why would I grab the plate? This is a severe weather warning. Oh, what's this? The Northwest weather Hi, Terry, and close please find a pioneer unit with remote and cables. Half page review for the October issue. Oh, so he does he write reviews literally for like products? Because that sounds heckin' boring. Whoops. I have a candle now. This this is just part of me now. Oh my god, I keep forgetting I can literally turn on the lights. We have so many VHS tapes. This is a severe weather alert. The remix. Okay, I'm done with that. That, that was enough of that. Um, okay. What about that? It's that book Dad wrote. Like, the one that we already looked at? Oh, God. Not another one. Dad. The obsession with the JFK stuff. has gotta- we gotta- What is this? Terry, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything, but my editor at Hi-Fi has too much review work to do around and he's looking for another freelance. Naturally, I thought of you. You're saying your last letter, how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work on of literature and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records and write about how it sounds and then get paid. Sounds like a great time, for real. 
I've included some issues of the mag to use exa as examples if you're interested. Send some samples to my editor and tell him your old college chum Mike sent you. Here's the address. So he wanted to be writing literature pieces um, of sorts. And he ended up writing about... Alright, you need to go. Reviews for tech? The heaven at the edge of the world. Oh my god, the turtles. Samantha Greenbrier. Grade 2. The, the turtle. The turtle people. This looks like something I would have done. At this age. I talked about how much I liked writing stories in second grade, so like this feels... This feels real. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. Or so it seemed. Someday, she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! This is such second grade writing, I love it. It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. <laughs> Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. That was a good story. Oh my god, stop clicking that button, Caitlin, for the love of god. Guys, I think that was a great story. I really liked it. Okay, we already read all of that. Wait, what's this? What is it? Oh, that's the candle that I threw on the- Oh, you thought that was a human! Doesn't that look like- Like, if you look quickly, like- Oh, there's a person at the end of the hall! Shut up. I read- I did read it with passion. Because I felt that. Like, that literally felt like such a second grade, like, story. And something I would have written. United States Department of Agriculture, National Forestry Manual. Whoa. Tell me more. Definitely. Grab a bunch of coupons. I sure grabbed those bunch of coupons, you know? I sure did. Alright. Can I open any drawers? No? Alright, in this store we go. Ooh, this room looks creepy! I wish the lights were more light-like. Is this a bar? Wait, this is cute! Wait, this would be a great room for a party. Hold on, it's the party room. Wait, I kind of love it. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you guys a drink. Alright, what would you like? I've got... Whatever this is, I have... Vodka! I've got vodka! I got a vodka drink for y'all, and I've got some Irish whiskey, if you were looking for some of that. Dad's book again. Dad, can you stop leaving your books everywhere around the house? My god, Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to The Accidental Pariah, despite how low sales of The Accidental Savior... Uh, we went ahead with the publication of the second book in hopes of John Russell Siri, blah, 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 blah. Damn, everything is going bad for Dad. Like, Dad is just not thriving. Anyway, who wants some whiskey? Kelsey, thank you so much for the four months. That's so many months. Hey, Caitlin, your channel's the best everywhere. And I love that you now love horror. It's been fudging. Fudging. <laughs> it's been fudging. It's been fun watching your channel grow, and I will be soon subscribing to your Patreon. Thank you, Kelsey. That's very kind. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, open the cover and play the record. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I like this. The vibes are vibing. Done. World history. Oh my god, it looks like a tech book textbook. Assignments? Reproductive system worksheet. The menstrual cycle. Let's learn all about this. I don't want to read any of this. See me. Wait, I hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, the music was getting too loud for my liking. Wait, why did it say see me? I need to know why. Sam, what did you say? Uh, what is this? Health class, reproductive system worksheet. Oh my god, she wrote a novella? I don't... Okay, I have to read the novella, guys. I have to read the novella. I have to read it. Um, the early morning of September 1st... <clears throat> 1939, Essa Glatz stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Wailon <clears throat> in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop Essa's train approaches its destination. Her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and... Alright, I don't know if I... Um... Alright. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we... Do we have to... <laughs> Alright, I kind of need to know where this is going. As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker's smock. He must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian tube. Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadow pass over the station, a whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out towards her dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envel envelops him almost instantly. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> In the assault by German force... German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are... What? Where? What is happening? The rest, including Essa, and for a time, Borislav, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind. His legs are missing. Bandaged with torn bedsheets, Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her ra rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Did y'all hear the breath in my ear? Did y'all hear the breath in my ear when I said that? Please tell me y'all, what the hell? Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries and the process begins again. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. What the fuck? What the hell did I just read? Samantha. I'm not reading a lot of what's on that page. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I'm seeing words and I you know I think we can just let that go. What the fuck was that? What just happened? Like what? Why? Oh, there's a lamp. Love that. Why did I? Why is this sitting out like in the freaking party room next to my history book? What just happened? Anyway, that was unexpected. Oh my god, dad. <laughs> Jesus. It's just gonna be a bunch of books in here. Dad, stop. Dad, we need to have a chat about your obsession with JFK. Are we Sam? No, we are um, Caitlin, actually. Sam's our sister. I know I said my history book, it's not mine. 
It's probably Sam's. What's this? I don't know if I want to read anything else Sam says. Oh my god. Hi, Lonnie. So, if you want to come over to my house still this afternoon, that'd be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home, too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6th, Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At uh. least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Interesting. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. What happened to Sam? I think that's the whole point of this game, by the way, if you didn't get it. You're supposed to try and figure out, like, what happened to your family and, like, what's where everybody is and... and I think that's the gist of it. I don't usually read the entire synopsis of games because I don't want to know too much, but I got the idea that you came home and you don't know what's going on. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. The attic, you say? Oh, wait, I need a key or something. Is there a key? Does anybody see a key? Hello? Check the plant. I don't think it's in here. Maybe I need to go somewhere else to get the key. So we've hit a dead end on this end and on the other end. I, maybe I can go upstairs? I should leave open doors to rooms I've already been in. Just to... I don't get too thrown. Because I can't get in there. Can I go up here? Maybe there'll be keys up here. Maybe. Maybe not. Lamp. Newspaper. Controlled burn. Oh my god, this freaking is Life is Strange. What the heck? Um, control burn. Schedule for Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of Forestry Service run controlled burn of overgrown sections of Flintlock National Forest. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to fire what? I'm sorry. Wildfires in drier months, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved. Said senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier. So our mom is a conservationist. Are we gonna learn about her now? Pack of cards. Are these useful to me? Maybe not. Yeah, guys, look out for Rachel. Pfft. Walk into a door. It's so hard to see everything, but it's hard to find lights. Notice of temporary personnel transfer. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest, effective 9294. Please see attached personnel file. The overseeing officer at Flintlock, Senior Janice, charged with the supervision of transferred personnel. Okay. Is that a bad thing? A comb? Okay. Personal calendar. How do I read that? Ballroom dancing, cooking class, couples bowling? Yeah, same thing over and over. And then cook the big meal for Terry and Sam? Huh. All right, where's the light switch? I can't see, thank you. What is on that door? Is that gonna be like Sam's room or something? Just get the vibes. What is it? 
Brat Mobile Potty Mouth? Yes. Tell me more. Oh, you are going to tell it's me more. It's weird okay. hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. Mm, the music. I haven't stopped playing it since. So that said Sam's journal. So we're reading things about Sam. Like these are not my journal entries. These are Sam's journal entries. Yeah, okay. That looks like such a teenage decor piece. Oh my god, you- It's freaking Life is Strange! Are you kidding me? With the flag? This looks like Chloe's room. I- I'm sh I- Shut up. So much of this looks like Chloe's shit. Video games. What do we have? Super Spitfire. Okay, what about this one? Journey of Crystal. All right, please shut up. Wait, oh, more games. Oh, where'd it go? I lost it. Hello? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Super Mario Kart! Yay! Sorry, I like a, a good Mario Kart. What about this one? Adventurous the Cat returns. Second game. Gotta love a second game. Oh, we gotta find a combination. A combination. Um. Groove. Exclusive AIDS in Africa, Soul Asylum Live, Eddie Fetter, Weezer. Interesting. Grab the pillow. Wait. <laughs> What is this? I want it. Give it to me. This is this is all that matters to me now. Steggy the dinosaur. This is it. This is the rest of the game. You play with the dinosaur stuffed animal. Look at it! It's <laughs> so cute! <laughs> Wait! It's adorable and I want it! Can somebody make me that dinosaur? And send it to me? Please? Um, it'd be much appreciated. All right, so what is in here? Oh my God, this looks like Lisa Frank. Is this supposed to look like Lisa Frank? Because it looks like Lisa Frank. You cannot tell me that doesn't look exactly like Lisa Frank. Who had Lisa Frank stuff as a kid? Did anybody here have Lisa Frank? That's so Lisa Frank. I need somebody to tell me that they know Lisa Frank right now. Yes, thank you, Carly. Thank you. You love this game? I'm enjoying it. Very fun. My sister did. Love that. The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Fraying Threads. Captain Allegra. <gasps> Guys, the saga. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jergen, descended the single shining thread into the lower cabin of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal. The throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind, leading their way back to the entrance. Ellie the turtle. Ellie the turtle. thank you for the follow. Um, but from further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice. The hairs on Captain Allegra's arms stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song, I'm, I, I hope everybody isn't leaving right now. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay blue, b below. 
skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, wailing souls flowed in, one by one through the cracks in the cave walls, pulled into the orb, causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hewn from rock led down into the chamber from the passage at the top. Allegra said, we have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention and then you. But the first mate interrupted, no, I am smaller and quicker. And you know of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side of the room, get the king's attention and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line, all traced by this invincible thread, of course. Allegra said, it is good, it is good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly, vil vid vid vigilantly, hello, across at the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his, wait, no, no! The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out, to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her. No use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop. Even from across the yawning basin, Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran. Summoning his undead power, the king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage, much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running toward the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering the line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled li limply, its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran. 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 That was really dramatic. I don't think it had to be. I think that was partly my fault. What is this? Another one? Um, what is that? A collar, a dog collar. Mitten! Eight, wait, 1888 Dry Something Road, their old house. Do you think that could be the code? 1888? To the locker? Also, a locker in your bedroom? Mitten the kitten. <laughs> what is this? A brochure. Ooh, college program. Pre-college program. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Mrs. I have no idea. English creative writing. Three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship. Okay, so... Sam's a smarty pants, is that what I'm getting? Hmm. Pacific Institute of Art Ex Exhibition. If anybody sees the code, let me know. Oh wait, what? Another hallway? Wait, no, I need the code to the locker. Did I open these drawers yet? Oh, there's peeper, pe peeper, peeper near the TV. Okay. Can I put this in here? Oh, I see. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you too, coach mom. Codes. Chun Li moves. Fireball. Hold. Punch. Lightning. Kick. 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 Helicopter. Kick. I don't think this is super useful. Um, it was getting good. 
I wish that was more useful than it is. Scrutinize? Oh my god, is this one of those things that if you look at it, like, in the right way and for long enough, it turns into something else? Did anybody have those books where they were, like, optical illusions? And you had to, like, let your eyes relax and then you could see things? Magic eye? Yeah! I used to do those when I was a kid, and I was really bad at them. I could never see them. Are, are there things in these pictures? They look like them, don't they? I don't see anything on that one. Do you guys see anything on that one? I see many pregnant women. You see mushrooms? I don't see anything. I mean, yeah, I see hearts. I don't see anything in that. Oh, I mean, I see bellies. If you, I, I mean, yeah, I also see bunnies. I see bellies and bunnies. Interesting. Wait, where is this co Oh. Wait. A note. Hi, Lonnie. Uh, I wrote this in first period. I left it in your locker on the way to second. That's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. We'll be back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their on their beepers. But we're we're cooler than them. Be cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Uh, true. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing, though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How'd you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like, his secret shame is he, he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210. But I could see in his eyes that he was lying. Yeah, dude, the handwriting is really hard to read for me. I'm glad we've pretty much left cursive in the past, I'll be honest with you. Like. Oh my god, I keep clicking crouch because it's B, and like, I want to put back, so I'm like, B for back, and then it's like, crouch, and I'm like, no. Does anybody know where this code is? Oh, a lot of classic books. Huh. Anything I should try? Now I actually want to crouch. Slip. Samantha Greenbrier. Metalworking engraving. C minus. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges, show more pride in work. Yikes. It's one, two, three, four. Thank you, Alex. Brochure. This is 1965? Maybe? Probably not. This is the one me and my dad are building. I mean, I'm gonna try it. But I, that does, that's probably not it though. That would be kind of a silly, a silly code. But I wouldn't be mad if it was that. No. Did I miss any numbers? I don't know what the code is. Oh wait, board game. This looks classic. Who's got a crush on you? <gasps> oh my god, so dreamy. Do you like sports? Would you introduce me to your friends? Are you busy Friday? Oh my god. Guys, the T. Whoa, I clicked crouch again. Nobody got any codes for me. Damn it! I want to know what's in the locker. Huh. Do you think it's something in the...
No. It's not. Well, I don't know. I guess we're moving on, because I don't know what it is. <gasps> Ooh, way. I can't see. It also might be somewhere else, potentially. Bathroom? Okay. Oh. Oh, Lonnie rules! Toothpaste. Probably, the code is probably on the toothpaste. I don't think it's on the toothpaste, guys. Oh my god, stop crouching. Band-aids. Don't think that's relevant. Nail polish. Shade number. Feeling blue. Bada do bada do. Do ba do ba ba do ba ba do ba ba do. Ba ba do do do. Extra absorbency. None of this looks relevant to a Stop with the scariness. Flush the toilet. That was probably a waste of water. Wait, what it's it's broken? What's over there? Is there something you don't want me to see? What do you mean it's broken? Why can't I look in there? Can I break it? To break it more, you know? Look at the chat, why? Why? What did I miss? Somebody said that the code is Cruel Summer. 0501. Well, don't you- Wait, what the hell? Oh, red hair dye. Sorry, I- See? Don't just tell me the code. Tell me where to find the code. Just telling me the code's boring. Dude, I really thought for a second things were about to get really interesting. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. It's freaking life is strange. I've touched someone else's scalp before. Don't say it like intimate, that. Right? Don't say it like that. It felt intimate. We Touch looked in the mirror scalp. together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. <gasps> and she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. This literally feels exactly like, um, life is strange. Um, start in the mom and dad's room to get the code. Yeah, so maybe don't tell me things if I'm probably going to find them later, because I probably would have found it later then. A key for the basement. Why does she have the basement key? Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. Uh oh. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. <gasps> like I must think. Are these stolen? No, there was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. You don't have to apologize, Catla. In the words, it's fine. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever? <gasps> and that's when she kissed me. Oh my God! Guys, this, I'm getting invested. <laughs> oh, sorry. The laugh sounded kind of creepy, and I was a little concerned. Also, Kayla, it's totally fine. D don't don't regret anything. Also, gosh, Sam. I thought it said gosh, Dad, earlier. Was I maybe right? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Also, did she steal clothes? Did she literally steal clothes? Oh no! Cigarettes? Boo! Damn! Huh. <laughs> In other circumstances, I would ship them, but I don't trust anything. 
Fair. I mean, it feels like something bad's gonna happen to somebody. Okay, the bathroom, we were done in here, right? Yeah, because we got the hair dye. Oh wait, backpack. Are these gonna be more do- no- oh my god, I can't talk today. Notes? Hey Sim, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom's supposed to cook dinner for us, question mark, tonight for a change, but I can't just ditch out on it, probably. What time? Also, isn't that a mov that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore, I guess. Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants cheeseburger. No, Todd doesn't want cheeseburgers. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Haha, <laughs> all right, <laughs> see you then. These messages are something else, I gotta say. Okay, so did we just loop around? Okay, we did, so let me check... Sam, stop leaving every damn light on the house. You're as bad as your sister. It sounds like my dad. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo games back. Daniel called. Daniel's the one that we said was a weirdo, right? Or that Sam said was a weirdo? To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is, frankly, absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me. Oh, wait. I'm- I'm older. I thought Sam was older. Okay, apparently I'm wrong. I really thought Sam, uh, was the older one. Um, older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. Jeez. Yeah, now, I, I mean, I see it, I see it. These vents are questionable. I don't know. They're not, but they could be. Uh-oh, spaghettios. Interesting. Did they just like plop a picture of socks? Love it. Or whatever that was. <laughs> Jeans. Whose room is this? Can we not with that? All right. I know it's an old creaky house. Ooh. Oh my God, we shouldn't be in here. Uh, that's, we shouldn't be touching that stuff, Katie. Uh, it's not our stuff, Katie. So embarrassing. Oh, is it mine? Who else would live there? Well, I didn't live here, and that's the thing. All the president's men. Oh, wait, is this our parents' room? Because that's worse. God, it keeps sounding like there are people walking around, and I don't think that's what's happening. Oh, mom's purse. Yep. That's... Dude, there's so many similarities between this and Life is Strange and, like, little moments that are happening. Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Willie Nelson. What's this? Postcard. Is it from me? Yeah! Dear Mom and Dad and Sam, I am in the... Channel? This is my second passage through the channel? What is the channel? I'm on my way back from London this time, going to Brussels, Belgium, Brussels, Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. What is a channel? <laughs> When's Joyce showing up? Guys, look out for Joyce. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all want to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. She's making fun of accents? Oh my god, the so many Bibles. So many Bibles, like a hotel. Um, alright. This bedspread's hideous, I'm sorry, but it's really quite ugly. Alright, none of that is important, I guess. Why am I 
like, very aggressively going there. Oh, Mitten! Mitten Kitten! Kaylin age five. Yeah, I did draw that. That's right. I am talented. Comes from, vac from vacation. Immediately goes through parents' drawers. Does it look like they, like, packed in a hurry? Does it kind of look like maybe that's what they did? If I get jump scared, I'm, I'm gonna be really mad about it. Okay. Um. Same old, same old. Can't open these? Any of them? No? Huh. Jump scares, jump scares. I'm not in the mood for a jump scare. I've had enough of these like thunderclaps like are actually scary. Ooh, this looks like a nice place to take a bath. That is the worst sound in the game. It literally sounds like somebody is creeping up behind me and I know it's not, it's just supposed to be like old house, but it feels bad, ugh. After the honeymoon. Rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, and sexually. Look at that photo on the front. I mean, this is what you get for, like, snooping, quite frankly. The Reverend's decades of service to God helping you connect with a higher power. What? I mean... <laughs> I would throw up. I found that. Good thing it's by a toilet. <laughs> Thank you. Can I take a bath? No. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't know. This- I don't know what's going on. I don't know yet. If- You'd be really cool. I don't think this is the kind of game that it is. But it'd be really cool if, like, I came back through and, like, you just saw somebody go, like, by the door. No, no bid bidets. We're not gonna talk about bidets. That was a yesterday topic. Is this just dad's freaking books? Oh, no. Walt Whitman. I've heard of Walt. Bookmark. Timberline book series. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Rick. Oh. Did we take the bookmark out of the book? Oh, my God. That's a crime. That's actually a crime, though. Oh, I don't want to read this handwriting again. But it's from freaking Carol. It's from Carol. <sighs> okay. Oh, honey, let me tell you. I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down periods. It's become a bit of a, a light, a, a bit of a way of life. Ac That's not just old house. That is straight up like somebody is behind me right now and coming to kill me with a knife. Just saying. Anyway, um... You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. The kids grow up. They go away. Uh, I'm sorry, this isn't helping, is it? <laughs> you can't backspace. Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like quite the adventure, but let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent, that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick... You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package? Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry's out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to you, to your old friend Carol. She adores them. What do you want to know about Ranger Rick? That does not look like the same family. I mean, it is. It just, we look scarier here. I'm going to put that back. What? Oh, is this like a walk-in? And why is the light on in here? Watercolor techniques. Cool. I hope mom is not cheating on dad with Rick. Dude, wait, that could actually legitimately be what's happening. Tell me somebody's not in this house right now. I swear to God, it sounds like somebody's here. Oh, look, a ghost game. Is it a Ouija board? No. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Carly, can we play this? Can we play this game? I think we should play that game. I'm gonna come over and we're gonna play that game. 
<laughs> the Luigi board. All right, wait, I feel like there was nothing in here. Like, watercolors. Okay. Am I missing something? Huh. All right, well, wait, where do I go now? Oh, I have the basement key. I can go in the basement now. I have the basement key. Where is the basement, though? Probably one of those doors that's locked. Oh, wait, no. I can go this way still. Never mind. Everybody, I'm an idiot. What is this? Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. So Sam was at least just here. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam, where did you go? Did you run away? Is this the guest room? Jeez. This room looks depressing as hell. Like, is- I mean, I know it's dark in here, but... God, it's depressing in here. Jeez. Is this just, like, all my old stuff? Yeah, Katie, 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 Katie. Yikes. Composition! Ghost Hunter Journal! That's it. Sam and I are besties. Sighting journal. Oh my god. Ghost sightings. Are you kidding me? August 31st. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. Wait, like in this house? When I rounded the corner, no one was there? How tall was Uncle Oscar? Oh my god, is it haunted? I was not wearing my glasses. Well, shh, don't tell people that. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. No, it wasn't. It was a ghost. Poured milk from carton in fridge. It's It was spoiled. Oh my god. That was a ghost. A ghost did it. Alright, Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. Um, okay. I suddenly began to feel cold. We built a protective pillow fort. Good method, good method. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Okay, okay. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises. Recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic. Probably due to a leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. I am invested in the haunted nature of this house. Hey, Sam! You're asking what my... Something ribbons meant? Here's a handy guide. Orienteering rifle team adventure training. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's right. Lonnie wears the, um, like, military uniform. Or, oh, my God, I keep doing that. Or whatever. Okay. Huh. What in the Stranger Things is this? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Well, I'm gonna- am I gonna ruin the pictures? <gasps> Is this, like, mom's art room? Looks like a nice painting. Is this, like, a- an interesting tape? Or is this just a really weird music tape again? Oh, is she painting these flowers? I bet she is. <gasps> yep. Mm-hmm. Good job, mom. Now, where's the player that I can put this in? Right there! Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, performance evaluation! She did great! I need to learn my lesson with these damn tapes. Okay, I think it's just, just saying that uh, she's really good at her job. 
Or wait, no, this is about Rick? Oh no, I made the form. What do we, what do we say about Rick? In the opinion of Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. I mean, could that be totally innocent and totally fine and totally work-related? Yes. But that other note? I don't know. Halloween show. The hell is this? Why is this in mom's office? See you there, L. Maybe this isn't mom's room? Oh. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. She up and hugged you? She could tell. She up and hugged you? Oh my god. I've never heard somebody say, Then she up and hugged me. I've never heard that. But you know, whatever works. Healthy choices. For a health full life. Cool. Like, yes. Cool. Lonnie, holy crap. I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage. It had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it? Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping six. What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is that why we could go in that closet? Mom and dad's room, bathroom, closet, secret passage to a library. Wait, are you saying I- should I go back to the closet? Oh. Yeah, it's marked on the map. Okay. Hold on. I don't need any more cassettes. I'm really good on those. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh my god, Captain Allegra! And first mate! Wait, I love that. My two favorite characters. Okay. So we're going to the secret passage, I think? Yeah, I liked it that. Okay. Wait, should I- I should- should I go to the attic first? Wait, should I go to the attic first? Or should I go- wait, I might not be able to go- Should I open the attic? Or should I go to the secret passageway? Attic? Just kidding, I can't go there. There was somebody in this house. Those are not normal sounds, bro. All right. Secret passage. Let's go. Where is it? Wait, is it in here? Two downstairs. Where is it? It's in here, right? That's actually so scary. I don't like that. Well, if I turn around at some point and somebody's behind me... Ooh, open panel. Wait, what? Oh, shit. If I- if I moved into a house and, like, I stumbled across this, I would actually- Stop doing that, Caitlin. I would- Oh my god, it'd be the coolest thing ever. Oh my god. Okay, it's kind of creepy, actually. What is this? Ghost Hunter, Sam and Lonnie, secret house investigation. This, I would do this. This is literally exactly what I would do. This is not a joke. Hidden compartments found, three. Library, upstairs hall, foyer. Evidence of the supernatural, discovered, zero. Damn it. The search continues. I would do this shit. Oh wait, what's that picture? Guys, where is that? Is that in the foyer? Is that in the foyer? I think it must be. Oh, I should just... Oh! 
Locked door. Are those, oh, so these are secret passages? Shut up, passages, okay. Oh. Weird. So this is where we already were. Oh my God. There was a secret passage right here the entire time. That's so cool. I hate the sounds though. <sighs> okay, so that's connects to that. So Wait, so there's another secret? Hold on. Is there another one over here? Is that what the map means? Yes. Whoops. Oh, what the? It's, okay, that's not that exciting. It's just a weird drawing. Probably that Sam made. Okay, basement time then. Right? And the basement was... The one next to the music room, okay. Which is, wait, sorry. I'm getting disoriented. <laughs> I'm in this hallway, so I, oh, okay. So go down this way? If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Oh my God, yes. I mean, not, super yes because it's a basement but like this is cool pull the string oh okay oh my god chips can i eat them i am kind of hungry did you hear that sound who heard the sound who heard the sound oh my god i need to learn how to not crouch every four seconds okay put that over there what's this dear samantha i'd like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family i enjoyed the flavorful potatoes oh same and also it was weird being around your parents for that long but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad to not be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time very cordially yours your close friend and confidant Lonnie, your close friend. Dear Miss DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again sometime next year, shall we? Madame Samantha Greenbrier. <laughs> Esquire. Alrighty. Aw, Samantha and Lonnie. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. <gasps> but it's secret. Yeah. Secret dating? I don't know. It's fair. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Aw, but not this. I'm, I would like to put that back, thank you. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. What, why are we? Why, why are we back? Okay, well, I did a good job. I didn't do whatever the hell Samantha did. We don't need to read that one. Why, why did our parents keep both of those? Ooh, a furnace. This makes me think of Home Alone. Okay, maybe I shouldn't get so close to it. Did I pass a light switch? Is there one of those around here? Or no? No light switches? Ugh, Dad's book is everywhere. Wait, what did that say? 
Oh, a letter from Grandad. Oh my god, I can't. Thank you for sending a long copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a, mo a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear, and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the... Sorry, it is so hard to read this. Per personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime store science fictional... Wait, is he shitting all over what we did? Or what our dad did? I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication. But I urge you to shed artifice you can do better with a father's love and encouragement jeez damn Ooh, that is ominous i'll be right back room okay this basement is giant can we just appreciate how big this basement is what the hell why do we have so many newspapers you wanna let me know? No? Just a stack of newspapers. What the frick? What? Okay. Uh, oh, I'm overwhelmed. I am so overwhelmed at the moment. What is that? I, I, I what is going on? Oh, pharmacy. This is pure chaos, and it's causing me stress, but what is this? Weird is what this is. Okay. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scout. Something. Set list. Role model authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate. Self, Girl Scouts, denial. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's <gasps> Rebels! Really, really amazing. It feels so proud she's on stage that's cute it's incredible being in awe of someone you love oh so everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in june until then till she what i'm gonna be at every single show that was kind of cute rebels thank you for the two months woot i agree hi dennis that was kind of cute um, today's Spanish lesson, da, 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 da. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking about this when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You love Mexico. I think you'd love Mexico. I think probably. <laughs> the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on the mysterious island where even the, the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together. And I start thinking of you again. Yeah, I mean, it kind of felt like... Allegra and the first mate were kind of the two of them, sort of, in a, in a weird kind of way. Um, I lie here in bed, and I'm, I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay, but I tried. Wait, what? Anyway, what's over here? A map! Oh, wait, is this a map of the house? Stairs to basement. Yeah, this is basically where we are. Oh, is this where I can't get in right now? Kitchen, pantry, washroom, laundry, greenhouse, dining. <sighs> Another combination. I always back up because... I just don't know. Oh, it doesn't work? Why? Is there something in here you don't want me to see? 
I mean, this wall's kind of weird. What's that about? What's that about? Is that gonna come into play later? Because... Feels suspicious to me. I do have a YouTube channel called She's Scared. This is facts. This is all true stuff. What's that on the floor? It's like a drug. The first time I was in my room in the middle of the night, I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. The clock said 3.13. Her face was... actually pretty good I'm not gonna lie um <laughs> mood straight up mood um what am okay wait I still have to go this way I don't think I found the the voice acting in this is really good it's very natural and I like it um I don't think I have that code yet for that safe wait what's this Postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Something Falls, Multnama. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and. Whoops. <laughs> because it's March and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit. Oh shit, here you come. What? Oh. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie Ooh. girl. Ooh, I'm blaming but Lonnie. I think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Uh-oh. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Wait, she's writing to Katie? Huh. Woman outlaws. That'll show you who runs this things around this joint. She's tougher than a wild Mustang. No female is gonna tell me. Yeah! I did a good job. Okay, I like the light on the board. Very ominous. Heard enough. Had enough. Kicking against the patriarchy. Captain Allegra! Huh. What are these? Can I see? Oh, wait, did they make a magazine? That's cool. Wait, that's so cute. I love that. That's neat. Oh my god, there's so many passageways. More chips. I'll take them. Sonic Youth, the Amps, Bikini Kill, Roseland. Okay. Pizza. Oh, no pizza left. What is this? Girl Justice. Girl Justice Now? Mm hmm. Goodfellow Senior High School. Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity? The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty parties come forward and there's been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there's no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. 
Eva! Wait. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Okay, I'll be right back, Eva. Like I'll be right back, Eva. And our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority. <laughs> but I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned <laughs> when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. This feels so life is strange. Um, Eva, thank you for the two months. Hey, how are you today? Honestly, pretty good. I am. Does anybody know how much is left in this game? Just, uh, because I'm just trying to figure out if I would keep going or if I save the rest of it. I'm getting so lost. I don't know about you guys. Oh, wait. Did we make it to, like, the other side now? That we couldn't get to before? Yeah, right? Right, because, like, that was where... I don't know why I'm pointing, like, you can see. But get it, like, to the other side where that door was locked. It's so dark in here. Oh, my God. I need to stop clicking that button. Oh, yeah. There you go. That brings you back around. That's cool. There we go. I need some lights. Can't see anything. This house is ridiculously big. It is. I mean, it is a mansion, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, why am I constantly here? Demon of Souls. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Hey, Lonnie. Sorry my mom is such a was such a bitch last night jesus she's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then when she's home she takes it out on you like because you're not a number of the family a member of the family she knows you won't call her out on it and i'm sorry wait she's the mom is a bitch to lonnie it's kind of wild it's okay, I know she's just jealous of our cool and free wheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I, I, I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to deal with a mom every day. My god. Oh, hey. I do stream on Twitch. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, demons of souls. Um, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. That is also what came to mind when you asked that question. So, I mean, true. Living in Florida is a punishment. I guess you would know. Poughkeepsie's Teenagers of the Year. Teenagers of- wait, what's that? You see that? What's that? Oh, an outlet. Never mind. Not that exciting. I really thought it was exciting and it wasn't. I don't have too long left. I'm supposed to leave around 5.45? So I don't know. I'm kind of, I wasn't initially supposed to leave at 545 and then that phone call was, that I got earlier. I don't know. I'm stressed. <gasps> anyway, offer promotion. Dear head conservationist Greenbrier, due to your exemplary management of the Flintlock prescribed burn operation last year and the services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we'd like to offer you the position of regional conservation management director responsible for operations throughout Northwestern Oregon. Is that a good thing? Your assistance would be sought to fill your previous position on site at the Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting would be at Regional Manager Building, located... Oh! Interesting. Does that have to do with the move? Or does this mean we... She has to move again?
Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Um. Where the heck did I come from? Oh my god, I'm so lost. Okay, no, I'm going this way. <laughs> what is that? Oh! <gasps> Something is in the vents. It's the imposter. What's this? Earth, wind, and fire. Civic Auditorium. 2850? I wish that's how much concert tickets cost. 2850. Oh, nice little closet. Is that luggage? A sleeping bag or a tent? What is this? What is in there? Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. And it was like three bucks? Oh, I thought she meant she just like found a skull and I was concerned. Love it, Merry Christmas. Um, okay. Fascinating. Hmm, whoa! Talk about a dining room. Linen closet, okay. Oh, it's the zine. Dis, 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 okay, I can say the word, disemplar, dis, oh no. Oh, she can't say it, she can't say it, she can't say it. Disciplinary, disciplinary, disciplinary. That's the word, right? Did I say it right? Distributing inappropriate materials. What, is it this? Is there something wrong with the magazine? Is that inappropriate materials? Can't grab any of that. Usually there's something in here. What's this? First off, congratulations. Janice Greenbrier, regional director. And I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take that job, right? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk, Carol! Carol! Carol's encouraging this. I just want to point that out. Not, not what you should do, Carol. What a blast, but you sound like you're needing, reading a lot into an innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You says he has an out of town girlfriend? You sure they're not serious? What about our husband? Are we not with our husband anymore? Did something, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what's going on. Carl. <laughs> okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congr congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Soon, Carol. I like the ladybug paper. Not gonna lie, I do like it. Stop clicking up. Oh, what is happening? I don't even know how I got there. Stop. Okay, jeez. Okay. Okay. Manuscript. Don't give up on this, honey. The accidental warrior. You're, but you're like, not cheating on him, but kind of cheating on him. But like, I don't know what's going on. No, this house is huge and I have to go. Oh no. Should I just, I don't want to save it. This feels like we're so close to the end. I don't even know if it's going to save. Tessa! Tessa, thank you so much for the five gifted. Love you, Tessa. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How are you, Tessa? How you doing today? So many packs of cards everywhere. The music's getting, like, weird. Sam's schedule, working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of Helen Margaret and Mr. Richard Morris P Pattermock? I feel like I saw the name Richard Pattermark at some point, but I don't remember when. 
Oh, open fridge. Let's open the fridge. Tob! Tob! Can you come here? Check the fridge for me? What do we got? What do we got? Fish sticks? Well, that's not that exciting. God, don't open the drawer in the freezer. Jeez. A banana! Perfect. Can we put the banana in the microwave? No, let me put it in the microwave. Don't play with me right now. Uh, no. I need to microwave this banana. It's very important. No bread? Oh, fine. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna leave everything open. Also, what the hell happened in here? I just realized that it's like all a disaster. Also, the music got weird. It's concerning. Kitchen. Yeah, I'll probably, I should take the salad dressing with me just in case. Actually, I need to put it down so I know what else I can pick up. Um, read this letter. Congratulations on your new position. Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on the new position. What's wrong with the new position? We're acting like it's weird. George was fridge? Tobe was to toilet? Really? Oh, I've been making Tobe jokes in regards to the fridge more than once. That's true, Tobe was the toilet. Now that you say that, pfft, hello? Anniversary trip? Katie comes home this month. Why does it feel like it's getting really like depressing all of a sudden? Is anybody feeling that? Mugs? Huh. Going to the garage? Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd through 7th. Is that today? We'll be camping in the gorge, but we'll give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never... Jesus. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. Okay, so they're just on a trip? Like, it's, they're fine? <laughs> Recycling? Okay. Alrighty. I guess that's fine. This way, right? It's so dark everywhere, it's creepy. Magazine? Home Cook Magazine. That looks like a classic girly magazine. I'm not gonna flush the toilet and waste all the water. Whoops. Okay, not much in here. Oh, laundry room. I still, I see you saying the attic. I'm wondering if we find, like, did I miss a key? Open the washer? Can I do some laundry? Can I fold those pants? Oh, wait, hold on. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've known it was where I'd end up. I never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and, and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a, a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together. Oh, Well, that's sad. Wait, then where the hell did 
Sam go? Whoa. Oh, a greenhouse. This is cute. I want a greenhouse like this. Why do the vibes of the game suddenly feel creepier than they did before? It's like it's too quiet, but it's been quiet the whole time. It's a desk. Manuscript. The accidental human. Oh my god. Lots of dad's scripts. Dear Kaz? I don't know who that is. I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't the business of printing new material, but this revisited interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It's reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I'm grateful for that, that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. Wait, is that like the most recent thing? Because that would be good. Cover copy, it's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future, of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So when the familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No, the life you saved this time will be your own. Ooh, a twist. He's writing a book. Which I think is good. Where we'll do it? What the frick? Do what? What was that little music? Yeah, no, he's not a conspiracy theorist. I thought he was. He's just, yeah. Midnight June 5th. Uh-oh, that is when mom and dad are away. Is that today? Final preparations are complete. So, foyer, secret door under the stairs. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We should, I guess we go over there. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. Aww. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized were all in the past and there wouldn't be any more I didn't know what I was going to do and oh I cried. that's a closet and she held me stop this is depressing she said she knew it was hard but life would move on I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her oh stop that's when she cried too I was so exhausted I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. Oh, I'm sorry, but I do have questions. Oh, there's the attic key. Um, this took a turn. I mean, the there... sunset light in this house. Guys, that's a freaking. It's the saddest thing I've do ever. Do you seen. know what you did? I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. They're trying to talk to Oscar with a freaking pentagram? Wait, I'll go up to the attic and wait? Does that mean she's in the attic? Hello, sir. Okay, don't do this. Don't do this, okay? Don't do this. What's that? The food, oh, honey snaps. Don't make pentagrams in your space. I think Lonnie is dead, probably. It's kind of the vibes. Somebody's dead. Somebody's dead or dying. All right, we have to go up to the Stranger Things attic. My PSA is don't do seances. Exactly, it is. I'm stuck on a wall because I'm an idiot. Oh, maybe that is why we hear somebody because they're just upstairs. 
Oh, my phone is ringing. It's fine. I don't like going in attics at the end of stories. I've watched enough horror movies. Hello? What is that? I'm not gonna fall down the stairs. Sleeping bag. Is this a note? Sam, always remember what we had. I love you, Lonnie. Stop! I said yes to what? Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us. Oh? And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. Oh. And let's just drive Wait. until we find somewhere. Is the end not going to be depressing? Us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Oh shoot, I think I cut it off. Yes. Am I okay? Wait, are all of those letters like what you read at the end? Is that what is that the point? Like she Please. leaves? I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. Wait, what? But I hope as you read this journal. Oh we did it! You think back. That you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Nice. What is this song? Yay! We did it. I'm so confused. I don't think it's confusing. I think it's just like, oh, that's it. Like, it's just kind of like a little dramatic. <laughs> yeah, all of that to find out she ran away, which we kind of figured out at the beginning of the game. But that's okay. <laughs> it was still cute. All of this and for what? Yeah, that was cute. That was, no, it, listen, I don't want to, it was cute. I liked all the little stories. I just think the ending was kind of, oh, okay. <laughs> there was a secret passage, that's all I care about. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think I was expecting something darker, but I think I'm just also used to watching horror movies and playing horror games. So that's on me. There was so much potential and I do think, yeah, all right, I don't want to talk bad about the game as soon as we, literally as soon as we finish it. I just think that, I don't know. It was fine. It was fine. I like stuff like that. I just think the ending was like kind of dramatic. She's like, I'll see you again. Like you just ran away. Like, why are you being so dramatic about it? You didn't die. Like, like, why are you being like, Sam is so dramatic. The directors from Don't Not Have Said This Game Directly Influenced Life is Strange. That makes sense, because it feels like Life is Strange. <laughs> I was expecting it after all the stuff. Yeah, no, like, I agree. I thought it was going to be really sad in the end, and it wasn't. Which was nice. Which was nice. Ba -da -da. She ran away to be with a girl in the 90s. I mean, that's true. Maybe that's why it's dramatic. I think a lot of what's great about this game is in the details. Well, and that's the thing that's kind of like we talk, Life is Strange, there's like so much you can discover. I probably, I'm sure I miss things. I'm sure I miss stuff. I don't know if I got all the codes. No, there was a, a safe that I didn't get into actually. Yeah. The parents were Christian and probably homophobic. Probably, uh, definitely the vibe that I was getting. So I guess that's why they, why they ran away, but I don't know. I feel like 
I don't know why she was like acting so distant from her sister though. Like she was like, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you in person. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> they have enough Bibles. They have so many Bibles. They got Bibles everywhere. I don't know, it was cute. I don't it was cute. It was cute. It was fine. I I just crave like super dramatic dark endings to things because I'm a terrible human being. So I was like, somebody's dead. There was a murder. Like, you know, something. And they were just like, I ran away. I crave Edith Finch. Exactly. Edith Finch is more my storyline. You know? But anyway, I do actually have to go um, do a thing. Montrose, Chloe, excuse yourself. Excuse yourself. That was a depressing game in a lot of ways. It was like nice for, for them, but like the stuff with the parents going on in the background was kind of weird. I don't know, it was a weird, weird vibes all around. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or your night or whatever it is, wherever you are. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you for the subs, the subs with Prime for the follows to my mods. Um, thank you for being here, just for being here. I appreciate people in the chat for chatting, for just chatting you know i always appreciate that hope you guys enjoyed the game it was cute i like a nice walk around kind of vibe anyway so i will honestly play games like this if you guys know of any games like this that you really like that are kind of like life is strange and like this where you're just kind of walking around and getting story and stuff feel free to let me know because i do like stuff like this uh for the most part um i know i just sounded like i was being critical and i kind of was but i did like it and i i want to end on that note <laughs> but thank you guys um, I will see you, I don't know when next, not tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna get the stream schedule done sometime this weekend. But, bye! Bye, my friends. I'll see you soon. Check, uh, Instagram and the community tab on the VOD channel for the schedule. I'll see you soon. Bye!